Hello, this is Mike Farley. We're from South Lake, Texas. I hope you guys feel I'm not too close here with a proper social distance. Uh, forget that. This is Mike Farley. We're in South Lake, Texas today. We have an awesome backyard for you uh, that we've worked on uh, a while ago and we've been waiting for the right time to take pictures and we finally decided we're not gonna get the right time so we're gonna take them anyway. So uh, we're gonna enjoy it and enjoy this awesome backyard. So there's lots of stuff going on here. So first of all, we've got a yard. That we played off the longest line of sight, which wasn't straight back. It wasn't side to side. It went to an angle back into the far corner. Uh, the other thing that we looked at is we were trying to create privacy with the structures that we were using and block some views from some neighbors, along with all the plantings that we've done, uh, which eventually will block all the neighbors as well. But we, we can't wait for all the landscaping to grow. Even with fertilizer, it's just taking too long. It's on a hillside. It's got a lot of different terraces and levels. Uh, which are some really neat elements. It's got a cabana. Uh, it's a really neat style, I like the colors that were used. So we looked at a lot of different things that we wanted to do in this backyard. So the first thing is we wanted really clean, neat lines. Uh, we wanted to stay more in the gray tones. Uh, we wanted to get away from airplanes flying overhead, uh, but that didn't work. Uh, There's a reason you leave lots of space between fire pits. Because in the middle of summer, when it's almost 100, you want your furniture to be a little farther away. But in the winter, you want to be close like this. The problem is, this is not winter time. <sighs> Hot. Okay, so we've got some different levels here in the backyard, which work out really nice. We wanted some lounge chairs near the spa, but we wanted them kind of tucked off to the side. We didn't want them to block the view as we looked out to our awesome backyard. We've got the spa in close proximity to that so people can hang out and visit. But then we've got fire. We've got this awesome fire feature on this. This is the fire terrace right here, uh, which has got this really cool textured three-dimensional tile, uh, which is the same tile that creates our awesome water wall on the other side. Got a really cool pattern on the tile of the Vanishing Edge Spa. It's kind of a stacked uh, tile instead of a staggered one by two, which is a little bit different. We've got just lots of cool textures here. We've got the lava rock and we've got the grass and we've got the smoke looters limestone and it, it's just a really nice area. So this is the mid zone through the yard. We kind of terraced everything down. So this gives us a nice place to sit. We can still hear the water features really well. We can interact with the people in the spa. It's an awesome place to be. We're standing on top of the world. No, really. Uh, this is the top of the water wall. Uh, so we created a space here so we can have a nice visual from the house. But then how do we transition that down to the cabana area? We've got the fire over here. We've got the water over here. We've got the water over here. So we needed something cool on this backside. So we thought about bar stools, but we thought, no, nah, no, nah, that's been done. And plus, we're going to have bar stools over here. Uh, so we thought, you know, what would be cool? And so we ended up coming up with the, the bench idea. So we come down here and we've got an awesome backrest so we can kick back and enjoy ourselves uh, hanging out, talking to the people in the cabana. And we can hear the water sounds behind us. It's an amazing place to be. So now you can see me better since I'm down lower instead of standing on top of the world. Uh, but this is a great place to sit and it, I can enjoy the fire. I can talk to the people who are cooking uh, or the people that are sitting down here and hanging out. Uh, it's a nice transition space and we don't have this big wall right down at the end of the pool. Uh, so, you know, this is 18 inches high. Uh, this is 24 inches on top of the 18 inches. So we're 42 high, which is, is basically a bar counter. So it's comfortable that you could, you know, stand here and uh, use it as a bar counter. But we've got bar stools place over here by the outdoor kitchen. So this is how we kind of set it up. So there's multiple uses of space to come up with different solutions. So one of the things also that we did here is we actually uh, set up this stub column 
column here. Uh, the advantage of the stub column here is this is basically the height of a counter. So when people are hanging out at a party, it's a great place to set my drink, uh, you know, as I wander around and I'm social and that type of thing. So uh, great use of space again. Uh, we wanted to bring in some cedar. Uh, in this particular design, they like the gray tones, but they wanted some natural brown tones as well. They didn't want everything to be gray uh, to offer some contrast there, kind of like the spa tile offered some contrast with the uh, gray tones as well. These are big beams. Uh, when you have a 12 by 12 cedar beam, one of the things to understand is they have what's called checks in them. Uh, this is a check. It's a crack. It's not structural. In fact, sometimes the bigger the beam is, the curing is not really great. Sometimes these get a little bit wider and that's normal. Uh, so, you know, those are checks in a cedar beam. Uh, the bigger the beam is, the more likely the bigger the crack is. So we looked to try to find some beams that didn't have any checks in them and came up with some pretty good ones. So something that is just the natural process of the, uh, the wood. So again, we want some contrast in. Uh, so we've got the light colors with the two dimensional tile here. We've got the dark color with the granite. And so how hot is it? Well, it's summertime. It gets some shade on it. It's not burning my hand off, so it's not too bad, but it looks beautiful. Now, when you have a dark color, it's gonna show up and be dusty. Uh, so you gotta clean it a little bit more, but the contrast really looks nice here. It's just pros and cons of different things you have to think about. So we come in with a backsplash on the back because I always want a spot for plugs. Uh, don't want them down here. Want them at recess on the back. We've got a nice side burner here. We've got refrigerator, trash can, some storage, storage, all the comforts of home. Uh, lovely grill. And then this backsplash also works for our bar stools on the other side. So we've got lots of places to hang out here uh, down in the cabana. It's a great place. We did a shed style roof. Uh, so we've got this flat cedar ceiling, tongue and groove. It'll really look dynamic at night with the lights on. And so we'll show you those pictures in this clip instead of me squinting in the sun. So one of the things we wanted also in this cabana was private. So as I stand here, this wall is six feet tall. So Dirk Nowinski is going to see over this wall when he comes to the party. But everybody else, basically, it blocks the view. It gives you privacy. And we still can enjoy some of the, the rest of the yard. We planted a cool live oak back there. So it's going to look spectacular over time. Uh, and also allows a little air movement through the space. We want to get some air to blow as it is seasonally. This time of the year, it's blowing in that direction which is great to blow the smoke outside of the cabana Ooh, hot stuff okay so we wanted a real clean fireplace here so no hearth no mantle on it uh, we came in the same concept with the fire bar over on the side so long and linear we also came in and used the uh, tumbled lava rock inside from a media standpoint and then we took the fireplace all the way up to the ceiling so it gives us maximum privacy and blocks a couple windows back behind us as well bonus points so really great space to finish off the cabana wait till you see it at night spectacular so we've got the two different styles here we got the visual we got the vi sound so we got the both the best worlds and sometimes that's what you have to do within a design is understand what we're designing for if we're designing for a visual effect sometimes it doesn't look great all the time uh, this looks great in the evening we have the afternoon sun here the water is always being in the sun and so it sparkles it looks fantastic now in the morning it doesn't look as good uh, but when are we going to look at this pool it's mostly about the nighttime and the cabana and the fire and the spa awesome place at night so this is a great feature visual uh, as we go over here this is great from a sound standpoint gives us an awesome sounds like we're on a stream but we don't want a pondy rock around this pool uh, we want something that's clean neat and tailored so the 3d tile does a great job of giving me that sound plus it gives me a real clean look we have the best of both worlds in this backyard we have visual water features we have ones that sound fabulous as well and so what's not to enjoy one thing I forgot to mention, the landscaping here is awesome. 
we've got some really cool stuff a lot of variety in plants uh, we've got Corton steel accents. Uh, we dealt with the transition with the slope really well. Uh, we've got privacy that's being set up. Uh, so landscaping is something that's really gonna add and be the cherry on top that makes it fabulous. And the bonus is it gets better and better every year. The pool stuff, well, you get the best at the beginning, uh, but the landscaping, it just seasons out to perfection over time. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful. Uh, this is Mike Farley coming to you from South Lake, Texas tonight. If uh, it looked great, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and then let us know what other things we can help you with and help figure out for what's best for you. We'll talk to you later. Take care now.